literally on a daily basis you have nurses coming to the british council to partake in examinations that will guarantee them some sort of employment into health institutions in the uk the issue about brain drain continues unabated the ghana health service is highly concerned definitely we've suffered with the brain drain we know that it is almost impossible to virtually stop that from happening we've seen it before if the western world needs 500,000 health workers to boost up. It's a cycle. It will get to a stage, they will fill up, and it will stop. Data from the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association reveals that nearly 4,000 nurses departed the shores of Ghana in 2022 to see greener pastures. In the first quarter of that year, nearly 3,000 nurses departed for the UK, US, and Canada. But one thing we forget is also that we don't appreciate the people who stay. I think we also have to, as we ask for them, we must also focus on the people who sacrifice to stay. So in terms of numbers, uh, we are losing not only nurses, we are also losing some doctors. Apart from the fact that the Ghana Health Service has instituted a measure which would replace these nurses every two years, what other measures have been put in place? Since the last two years, is virtually double the amount of people, the number of people who go for steady leave, so that in the next two, three years, we'll be able to uh, recover whatever we lost. We are currently having recruitment of additional nurses across the country. Improved conditions of service continues. Ghana Health Service have non-financial incentives where you are promoted out of 10 because you are in a, dis a deprived area where you are allowed to I do further your education because earlier because you are, these are all additional things that we can. But we believe that the communities and everybody, media can advocate for additional support to encourage people more to stay and also make them treat better. Hopefully, these measures will have an impact and the issue about brain drain will be a thing of the past. George Quinn, TV3, Accra.